In many previous videos, we've discussed a lot of galaxies that made no sense. A lot of bizarre galaxies that are either extremely rare, extremely unusual, or possess features that not many galaxies seem to possess. And although pretty much most of these galaxies do actually have a pretty good explanation, there are some galaxies that are still kind of difficult to explain, especially the ones that are extremely rare. And so, how wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss the rarest type of a galaxy we've ever seen, because completely by accident, researchers just found another unusual member to this very small list of extremely unusual green galaxies. As a matter of fact, with this new galaxy, there are only 18 that have been discovered so far in the entire universe. And these galaxies are referred to as green bean galaxies. And so let's discuss this in a little bit more detail, but I guess let's start with a simple question. Why is it that we actually have green galaxies, but green stars are basically impossible? And in case this is the first time you're hearing this, yeah, green stars don't exist. I mean, technically there is a way to maybe make something appear green, but naturally the stars will never look green because of the black body radiation concept and the way things emit light as they get hotter and hotter. So, for example, stars that we refer to as red dwarfs, or even red giants, are usually about 3000 Kelvin. And they actually do appear red, because in terms of visible light, they're mostly able to produce red light. But their main wavelengths are all infrared. Then, once you get to the temperature of 5000 Kelvin, technically you should be seeing yellow. But in reality, because a lot of other colors are mixed in there as well, these stars will mostly appear white which is actually the color of our sun as well. Even though it's called a yellow dwarf, it's technically a white star. But no matter how you mix this, there's basically no way to produce just green light. But there is a way to produce blue light once the star gets really, really hot. And so we can have blue stars, we can have red stars, but anything in between will appear white. Okay, so if there are no green stars, why does this kind of look green? This is a galaxy known as NGC 5972, and as this Hubble image shows us, it does look kind of green. Which basically means that something else is happening here, and green galaxies do exist. And though this galaxy is actually pretty well known, there are some galaxies that appear extremely green from a distance, and they actually created a bit of a mystery back in 2007 when they were just discovered. These were initially discovered by citizen scientists using the Galaxy Zoo project, where a lot of these unusual green dots were seen everywhere. And because they appeared very small, very round, and very green, scientists started calling them green peas. And so these green pea galaxies, or just pea galaxies, turned out to be real. They were observed by various telescopes, including the Hubble telescope, and more recently the James Webb, and they've now been very thoroughly analyzed, because we've basically had like 20 years to study them. And to date, approximately 40,000 such objects have already been discovered, which though might sound like a lot, actually is not because here we're talking about billions of galaxies out there. And so out of billions of galaxies, only 40,000 were found. And so these objects are rare, and especially rare nowadays, but seem to have been much more common in the early universe. And so by analyzing the light coming from these galaxies, researchers pretty quickly worked out what's going on here. They're basically green because of all of the gas inside the galaxy in between stars that seems to be illuminated by an enormous amount of star forming regions, basically making this galaxy kind of fluoresce. And so essentially we have a lot of stars forming really quickly, producing a lot of energy, producing a light that appears to be green because of ionized oxygen. And so all of the oxygen between the stars, usually present in very low densities, ends up producing these beautiful green emissions that make these galaxies glow in green light. And interestingly, this is actually the exactly same phenomenon that produces green aurora. And so this is also oxygen, located in low density environment, and so when hit by charged particles, it ends up glowing green. But in this case, these galaxies are visible as bright green dots, just because they're also very compact, no bigger than 16,000 light years across, and are also not particularly massive. And so in some sense, this is maybe baby dwarf galaxies that are eventually going to combine with much larger objects. At least that's what the scientists think right now. Either way though, they are pretty rare and still pretty mysterious. But not as rare and as mysterious as this new discovery that was just made not so long ago. And in some sense, these galaxies kind of look like this. They're not round, they're not compact, they're actually really large, but also extremely green. 
discovered in 2013 and now just to I guess make it as a kind of a naming convention, they refer to as green bean galaxies. I guess because in general beans are bigger than peas. And what's really interesting here is that these are ultra rare. Up until this recent discovery there were only 17 known to us, out of billions of galaxies out there. But now we have 18. With this recent study that you can find any description, essentially describing this new discovery, specifically discussing that one galaxy that was once again discovered by accident. And so what exactly are these? Well, even though they're similar to green peas, the actual source of greenness seems to be a little bit different. In green pea galaxies, all of the light is produced by powerful stars, but in this case it seems to be the result of the central black hole, or basically an active galactic nucleus, AGN. And so in this case, the powerful lights, specifically X-rays, coming from the central black holes, seem to ionize gas located far away from the galaxy that then starts to glow green, with the gas itself possibly released by the central region or the galaxy itself millions of years prior, very likely as a result of some kind of a major burst or possibly a major star activity. And so in some sense these are also known as quasar ionization echoes. Or basically a type of a light echo, where the light is being reflected from various gas clouds, making those clouds very bright and sometimes make them appear like they're moving really fast. But because the colors in this case are very similar to green peas, it's also very likely oxygen once again that seems to make them green. And so in this case when observing this new galaxy, here's roughly what it looks like. We have a central core and two separate regions over 100,000 light years away from the center that are both now glowing in green, which basically suggests that whatever happened here must have happened over 150,000 years ago because the light from the central black hole is now hitting those clouds that seem to be about 150,000 light years away. And because the galaxy itself is now relatively quiet, we basically only get to see the echoes from previous activity. But it's really the rarity of these objects that's kind of surprising. There's actually only one such galaxy for every 1.3 billion light years in the universe. So yeah, these are super rare and it's actually unclear why. Or I guess it's unclear why they exist. I mean there are quite a lot of galaxies that have active black holes and a lot of galaxies that have gas around them, but what exactly that makes these galaxies so special that only they seem to glow in green producing such large objects? Oh, the one explanation is that maybe this is just an extremely rapid phenomenon, possibly only lasting a few thousand years and all of this is going to disappear really soon just to reappear in some other galaxy. Or maybe they are fundamentally different from other galaxies. For example, in some of these galaxies, the mass of gas seems to be at least 100 times higher than in all other galaxies. So maybe for some reason they just basically kind of threw out huge amounts of gas that's now stuck somewhere outside of the galaxy. And with this galaxy being number 18, this is definitely a somewhat intriguing phenomenon. This one is now known as RGB1, with a lot of other names being just a little bit more extreme. I mean most of these have only been studied once and so we don't actually know much about them or what's inside of them. But based on these spectral observations, the actual emissions seem to be mostly produced by oxygen once again and so it's definitely coming from gas. And so maybe here all of this was just a result of super powerful black hole emissions that first released a lot of gas and then millions of years later started to emit additional x-rays, very powerful x-rays, that made all of this gas super bright. But that's obviously just speculation and there are no exact answers yet. Interestingly though, this is possibly a very similar phenomenon to the famous Hanis Vurvorp. A bizarre object discovered back in 2007 by a school teacher from Netherlands that basically ended up being named after this person, Hanny van Erkel. And so here too we have these unusual objects that are basically echoes with green light emitted thousands of light years away. And here's roughly how all of this potentially works. And so here the galaxy is possibly illuminating its own tail. But compared to the typical Hanny's Vurwarp, many of which have been discovered in the last few years, here the emissions are dramatically higher, making the entire region glow green. And here we're talking about an object that's over 100,000 light years across, possibly even more. Either way though, still an exciting phenomenon and definitely an exciting mystery. But we're probably not going to know much more because additional observations have not been done yet. As a matter of fact, James Webb has not taken a look at any of these 
And so we don't actually know exactly what's going on yet. But we know what's going on with the green pea galaxies, and you can learn more about this in one of the videos in the description. And so on that note, once there are some additional discoveries, we'll come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.